Hey guys, this is Witty, and I've got some information for you guys out there. So, um, yes, listen up good, because it gets very interesting. Right, so basically there's an issue with my account, and I can't upload any videos longer than 15 minutes. And I believe this is due to the fact that my content ID claims are not in good standing. So what this means is that I need to get these remedied, fixed, sorted, before I can start uploading videos again for Warcraft 3, Specif specifically over 15 minutes, because uh, pretty much all the videos I have to upload are over 15 minutes. So basically, I'm probably not going to be uploading any Warcraft 3 until this is sorted out, and I'm not entirely certain when this will get sorted out, but we'll go through this in the video. So, let's look a little bit deeper into this, shall we? So, if we go to my copyright notices, which you won't be able to see, this shizzle that's going on, but I will be able to help you out information wise. I'll be putting up some annotation links so either direct links to videos or actual links to web pages that back up the information that I'm about to give you so you can check that stuff out for yourself and you'll find it's quite interesting indeed. So shall we go to one of the videos that is currently causing a problem for me? Okay well let's do that. Alrighty this video is called Warcraft 3 Tower Island 9 now, I notice here there's matched third party content for this video. So if I click on that, I can see here are the details. Wings of Rebellion, a musical composition administered by one or mu more music, publishing rights collecting societies. Uh, Malik the Things of Rebellion, sound recording administered by Fine Tunes. So, there's a couple of moments in this uh, video that seem to si uh, fire off warning shots for the um, bot that picks up on um, automa uh, automation of like whether songs are being used illegally on YouTube and such. So this is basically what this is flagging up. Now, the issue here is that if you go to the links that are probably going to come up on the video right about now, it will give you a link to the timestamps 39 minutes 55 or 40 minutes 06 and um, that's about the same time as the undead music kicks in which is actually the blight track for Warcraft 3 the reign of chaos that was made in 2002 now you see the problem here is that uh, Malik Fa, or however you say it, Malik Fay, M E L E K dash T H A, has essentially plagiarized the music, and they've plagiarized a lot of music. And um, the Undead song is one of them. And they've taken the track Blight and essentially made their own track out of it and they're selling it on amazon.co.uk or .com so you can check out the link which will probably go up right about now to the web page showing this now they've called this track Wings of Rebellion and it, it's essentially just like the actual song that Blizzard created that belongs it's a Blizzard product and I'm allowed to monetize Blizzard products within reason obviously and Warcraft 3 is a Blizzard product along with the music that goes with it so as long as I'm doing it via a YouTube partnership I'm allowed to do so and uh, yeah we got this issue here because Wings of Rebellion is essentially what's coming up and it shouldn't be it should be accepting it and saying it belongs to the Warcraft 3 so that's fine but it's saying no it belongs to this Malak Fair guy or there's all different names for them. I've, I've got to go through all of this. It's quite the headache indeed. But um, all the different uh, companies that seem to take credit. But all I know is that's definitely where it comes from. 
Malak Fair, and it, the album's called Evil Indoctrination. So they have the original release date here of November the 13th, 2006. Um, if I go here, and this is basically posted, this is a comment that someone else posted on another Malak Fair um, album, which is another plagiarized album, but it's not about the Warcraft 3, but anyway, I'll read out the comment, and um, it's a plundering collage of musical thievery. It's known that many electronic and desktop musicians sample and plunder from various sources. Most common in the underground martial post-industrial world is the sampling of or uh, orchestral music. Some artists, such as in Slaughter Natives, Triarial, and Sophia, are able to use their sources to build a new identity of darkly majestic and intense soundscapes. Wow, he's very wordy with this. Then there are acts like Malik Fair that shamelessly cut and paste with a minimum of innovation and fearing dangerously close to downright plagiarism. De Magia Naturia da oh, wow, I can't even read that, is mostly a lazy mixture of classical pieces, extended film scores and dialogue samples and sound effects. After the, after the opening track of a Hellraiser 3 sample, juxtaposo, uh, juxtapo juxtaposed with thundering and classical music. The greatest offence occurs in the second track, a rather majestic piece, because it lifts a huge chunk of Jürgen Nipers' original score from Wings of Desire. Many minutes go by where it sounds like Malik Fair simply ripped a track from Wings of Desire and simply slapped some sound effects over it. Why settle for cut and paste when you can listen to the hauntingly beautiful Wings of Desire 1987 from film? In conclusion, this album fears past sampling into downright musical theft and blatant disregard for copyright and musical art history. It never reaches the majestic dark textures <laughs> of a work like Enter Now the World. This is a link to whatever he's put in settles. It settles for stitching together extended passages of other people's work. This is not creation, this is a CD mix. But at least he has good taste in music, if the sources he stole from are any indicator of his musical taste. And Blight is a very good track. Blight, created by Derek Chuke for Warcraft 3. And um, yeah, that was quite wordy and mouthy, but essentially he's saying that these guys are thieves, essentially, and that they are mixing up the music. And that's fine if you keep it to yourself. But if you start to sell it... Then you're taking the piss. So they're plagiarizing it. And, um, yeah, there'll be a link to the post with that comment if you really want to read that, but I've just read that out anyway. And uh, if we go a little bit further, if you go to the, the usblizzard.com page and look for Warcraft Free Reign of Chaos Music, which you can find if you just simply Google it, but I'll put a link up for that as well, why not? You can see that the Blight track is number 5, it's 5 minutes 05, you can play it. Unfortunately, because it only plays a little bit, you won't be able to hear the part that he's stolen, which is actually 1 minute into the song, and I will probably play that in a moment, although, actually, I don't think I can. You're just going to have to find it and then play it, although I can give you a link to it, because if I play it, then I'm going to get another copyright ID on this. And um, there'll also be links here in a moment. There's a video called Warcraft 3 The Frozen Throne Soundtrack Blight and a video called Warcraft 3 Undead 1 and a video called Warcraft 3 OST 12 Blight Undead 2 HQ and there'll be a link 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 to all three of those. Now these three links are to YouTube pages of um, essentially people uploading Blizzard's music. However they would have got a copyright ID claim for doing so. Now you can do one of two things when you get one of these. You can either acknowledge it and that allows the person that's claiming it to have a little message come up on the page saying you can buy this song on iTunes and if you check the link that you will have you will be able to see that it says buy Wings of Rebellion on Google Play eMusic iTunes artist Malik Fay. Well, the, the song doesn't belong to him, so he's plagiarizing and making money out of this. Or whoever it is, whoever the company is, whatever it might be. I don't know. But um, yeah, they're making money out of this 
for stealing and it's really really bad and they're actually getting away with this for the most part because the automated bot that YouTube uses is accepting them as the original creators of the music when it was done by Derek Duke and a few others which I'm going to mention who created the music for Warcraft 3 for Blizzard so it's outrageous really and this is the issue I'm having so what I do is I dispute this and by doing so I need to create an issue where I need to sort of write down why this song doesn't belong to them it belongs to Blizzard therefore I'm allowed to monetize it and it's a bit like a court case it actually takes a while for this to go through so I'm still waiting I've got a couple that are gonna finish tomorrow and there's one more that's the 27th of this month and then after that there's no more copyright ID issues so hopefully if, it re if I really have to wait that long it might be the 27th of this month and then onwards I can start uploading Warcraft 3 again but I don't know we'll have to wait and see but if we go to this next link here this is to the iTunes page it's a preview it's a Warcraft 3 the Reign of Chaos original game soundtrack I'm actually gonna have to speed this up because I have to finish this before 15 minutes just so I can upload this video Glenn Stafford Derek Duke Jason Hayes and Tracy Bush are the original creators of the Warcraft 3 music so that was released July the 3rd 2002 so as 2002 Azeroth music whereas the Malak Fay thing is Evil Indoctrination released 15th of July 2003 so you can clearly see they've done that afterwards now if you go to this link as well there's links gonna be all over the place but this link as well last this is from a website www.last.fm and it says that Derek Duke and Glenn Stafford composed the tracks in the menus and the in-game music while Jason Hayes composed the music used in the cinematic cutscenes Tracy W. Bush provided additional support in composing for the Warcraft 3 music so yes there's just evidence all over the shop basically that this Malik Fair company, whatever it might be, is plagiarizing the music that belongs to Warcraft 3, aka Blizzard. So they are causing me to get copyright ID claims, which I then have to dispute and wait ages before I can release the claim and tell them to get out of my videos, essentially. So I'm not acknowledging any of their stuff and as such I'm kind of getting a bit sort of owned by it because it's now affected me to this point where I can't upload videos because I'm having to wait for these copyright ID claims to be fixed. <sighs> so I hope you understand what's going on but essentially too long didn't read the conclusion of this is I cannot upload any more Warcraft free videos until I can upload any more Warcraft 3 videos and what I mean by that is I don't know uh, essentially once the copyright ID has been fixed I'm hoping that I'll be allowed to upload again but um, for the time being it's up in the air and this is solely responsible to Malak Fair that are who are plagiarizing the Blizzard music and essentially making money from it so I hope you found this information interesting and it also explains why there aren't going to be any videos at least Warcraft free videos out there for a while or any videos above 15 minutes so I don't know if I'm going to be releasing any more videos um, maybe some vlogs or something like that don't get your hopes up I'll see what happens in the coming times I'm going to be essentially busy anyway but this is a huge hindrance to me and I'm gonna do my best to get this fixed for you guys out there because I know there's a lot of you that actually like to watch my content as crazy as you are and uh, I appreciate that and I will do my best to get this all remedied and fixed up so hopefully I can get some communication going on with YouTube and get to the bottom of this so thanks again please subscribe like and comment for all those videos that are going to be coming out sometime in the future and uh, I'll see you later. Take care.